Welcome to Coffee and Conversation. My name is Honorine, and today I'm with Nyung Van, who is pursuing a master's in higher education. Nyung, welcome and thank you for being with me today. Oh, thank you for introducing me. Hi, everyone. My name is Nyung. I am currently the last year of master's degree in higher education, and I come from Vietnam. Hopefully, uh, you guys here have some people come from my country. Um, some people have ever uh, from my country, and I had a uh, year experience uh, in the past. Uh, working in communication and right now I am pursuing um, my master's degree in higher education. So how did you go from uh, communication to education? Oh yeah, that is my most difficult question when I yeah, decide to come back to school. Um, I need to say like, oh, communication or oh, I should uh, try in another major, but I just think about at that time, because of my language, because of my uh, cultural area barrier, I just think about like maybe communication is so difficult for me in the US. I didn't, in the past, I work in public relationship. Network is one of my uh, strengths. But right now, I didn't have like a lot of relation. And I just think like maybe communication is really hard for me. I should uh, to another area. But in the past, uh, one of my, I think one of my biggest dream is come, come become a trainer or become a coach or become a person to inspire uh, for another people. I just like have a, some, some, some key word about that. And I just think, oh, maybe I want to try to learn more about education. All right. And do you miss the industry sometimes, especially like the communication industry? It's so different from um, higher education. Oh, yeah. So it's so different. Um, I just think like, especially I have ever worked in Vietnam's uh, national television. It kind of like fancy work, uh, most fancy work uh, ever for me. And I just say like, Maybe p people focus on the outside, focus on um, like the news, uh, focus on information and focus on people. But I think, I, I mean like uh, the image of, of the people. But with education, I feel like we go to our inner side to learn more about ourselves, to learn more about the system and how, how to change an individual person yeah that is something i feel about different between education and uh, communication and what are you trying to change in education what is your research about mm -hmm. yes uh, um my major is a uh, one of area in my major that i want to focus on is uh, diversity equity and inclusion because as an international student and as a an uh, as an immigrant, I have a lot of struggle about how to adapt learning and adapt working here. And I feel like sometimes some person can save my day just because a um, simple question like, how are you? Uh, you look good today. And uh, do you need any help? Um, when I come to class, some, my, uh, some of my classmates say, hi, you. I feel like included in my class and if you make me have like more strength more motivated more motivation to learn and i feel oh that is the strength the advantage of inclusive education and i want to pursue this area to make more people feel included in the campus and on the voice can be heard and uh, every people can be seen in the campus that is my interesting and talking about struggles, what were your biggest struggles when you arrived in America? Mm, I think, firstly, that is language barrier. And it's come with that. I count my, myself out from U.S. community, from American. I feel like mm, I'm not belong to here. And another thing, I miss my career. I miss my environment. I miss my friend, my family in in the past, 
I miss my comfort zone in my country. And right now I feel like I, uh, I just alone here. Of course I have my husband, but I feel like my, my words focus on my husband and my child. I can't uh, adapt working with people here. And firstly, I just think maybe that is because of my language barrier. But after that, I think it's more, more than language barrier. It's maybe cultural barrier. And it can be because of my mental, uh, because of my emotion, because of my prejudice uh, from my prejudice for myself. Yes. I just myself about like, why did I learn English in the past? I wish I could learn English in the past or something like that. And yes, and I think that maybe I didn't work half enough. And right now, a lot of challenge uh, come with me. So, but right now, of course, I just feel like much, much better, especially after I have my first internship. I forced myself to go to outside to work with people. And you know, when we never ready until we have to do that, and until I have to do that, I feel like, oh, it's not difficult than I image. <laughs> so talking about language barrier and your internship. Um, so you in, you were an intern for the Center of Intensive English Studies. Yes. Um, were you, you were also a student there, right? Or you were only... Yes, there? yes. Yeah. So tell me more about this center. Not a lot of people are aware of it or they don't really know what they do over there. Oh, wow. I, I think that is a amazing resources we have in the FSU. Um, we have different, um, three different program in the CIS. Like most of most of the time people come from another country to the US to learn about another language and they come to CIS for learning English, kind of like language uh, study in abroad. So, or maybe some students, they have admission to go to FSU, but not met the English score. They can come to the US or make up for that, come to CIS and make up for that. Uh, we have a different program, maybe English for a TA, or English for academy um, purposes, or English um, for some people who uh, do PhD or something like that. So, but I, I have learned the intensive English study program. That means people from another country to go to the US and to learn language before going to FSU. Tell me more about being a mother while, and a wife while being a graduate student. <laughs> yeah, so taking care of baby and learning at the same time, it, I think it's like huge amounts of work. But um, my, you became, my... You became a mother during the program, right? Uh, before. Before. I start yes, I start this program oh, while my baby around 16, 16 months, 16 months. Oh, yeah, so really, but, really yeah, so but I, I apply, I make my paper and make my admission to come to FSU while baby my baby only were four four months old. Yes, I need to like, relearn English and uh, write the essay. Um yes, um so a lot of things, but my my daughter is one of my biggest reasons to have me have more motivation to come back to the uh, my program because I just think oh I want to be her friend I want to like help and go with her in the U S and I noticed that I didn't have a, a lot of knowledge about um American. Uh, education. Uh, I, I I noticed that I didn't have a lot of knowledge about American education system. And I I want to be an example of a really a resilience and kind of like, oh, whatever you think, what what no matter what is your dream, but if you put a lot of effort and you can go with with 
100% of the energy you can you can catch it. And yes, I, I want to inspire my uh, daughter. So like just do the best to achieve uh approach there the best version of herself so and another thing of course i i i was like i am so lucky because ha i have my husband who always support for me and he know because i because of my language barrier i have a lot of challenges to learn and to work people in my program so he's a really support for me to uh, in taking care of the baby and help me have more time to go to school go to library and go to outside to hang out with people so tell me more about um what do you do outside of school how do you um, like to uh, relax oh yeah so most of the time i prefer to stay at home uh, because like um, my baby go to her daycare too. So we have like own week to work and only have the weekend to stay together. And most of the time we will prefer to stay together. Maybe sometimes we go to the zoo or museum, uh, go to just go outside and walk together. And I prefer to cook. Uh, one of my mm, biggest favorites is cooking so I prefer to cook sometimes I will invite some American or some my friend to come my home to try Vietnamese food so that is my my way to relax and to balance between learning and living and another thing I love reading the book so so yeah that is the best way for me to enjoy the free time and to learn and improve my myself too. That's great. As you said, it's very important to learn to balance life. And yes, life. of course, especially you have baby and you're working at the same time. Yeah. So if like everything can be easy to be messy, if you didn't have like a good way to manage the life and balance the life. Mm -hmm. So what do you, where do you see yourself in five years from today? Five years from today? Wow. I know that is like very common question, but people type like being confused about that. Oh, five years from now, uh, where can I be? And so, but five years from now, I admit myself, I want to be a student affairs professional who work in uh, on universities to support for students especially i want to support for international student or student in transition process and another thing i want to have my own youtube channel to talk about my experience in the us and to talk more about libra education in self-learning how we can apply Libra in self-study and to be a free person that is my uh, favorite area that I really want to focus on and another thing I want to um, contribute more uh, in my uh, American Vietnamese women in American so they are, both of them, they are immigrants. So I, I want to work with them and inspire them to like um, have have their own dream because you know, most of easy to, um, I mean like, because of the, they are, have family, they have a, a lot of uh, things to do and they are so busy. So sometimes they forgot their dream and they think like, oh, I am, uh, it's too old and I'm not uh, drunk enough to go back to school or something like that. So I really want to work with them and see me is, uh, as an example to go out of the comfort zone or to achieve everything that um, they want in the US. So that is something I really want to do from now until next five years oh lovely well thank you so much um for your time it was great to know more about you and to talk oh. with you and 
hear all your inspiring thoughts and, and projects. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much to invite me today. And uh, thank you so much to give me the opportunity to say about my story. This, uh, I think this helped me to have my reflection about my whole process to, from coming to the US, going to FSU and now near uh, to have my graduation. In and, May, right? Uh, Yes, and the big picture in the next uh, five years. I will know graduation in May. In May. Yay, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much and have a good day.